All right, example four from five three. Um, this one's going to be a little bit trickier because it's going to go back and use some information from uh, early on in the semester. So I just have to think back. All right, so it says suppose that sine s equals three fifths, cosine t is negative twelve thirteenths, and both s and t are in quadrant two. Find cosine s plus t. Now here's the problem. If I'm going to use my cosine sum identity, which I am, let me write it down real quick, and I'm going to use the s and t like they have. So cosine s plus t is going to equal cosine s cosine t minus sine s sine t. Now the problem is I know sine s, so I know this piece, so I know this piece, and I know cosine t, so I know this piece. I have to figure out cosine s and sine t, but I can do that um, just like we did way back at the beginning of the semester. So I've got an angle in quadrant two. So it creates a triangle. So I'm gonna do, um, let's just do S first. So I'm gonna call this single S. And when it created a triangle, pretend that's a right angle. It is very, that's terrible because that's obviously obtuse, but pretend it's a right angle because writing with this um, thing is not as easy as it should be. All right, so this, my hypotenuse is five. Remember, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so this is three, but this is super easy because it's a Pythagorean, so it's a three, four, five. Only thing I have to remember is I'm in quadrant two, so all students take calculus. Cosine of s is going to be negative four over five. Okay, so now same, um, I'm going to just do a whole other co coordinate grid so I don't confuse myself. All right, so here's my other coordinate grid, also in quadrant two. This time the angle is angle T. And this time my hypotenuse is 13. And it's cosine, so it's the adjacent piece. So it's negative 12 over 13. So I need to figure out this missing leg in order to find sine. So I could use Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared, and just plug in the numbers that I know a squared plus negative 12 squared, and of course it doesn't matter where you plug that, equals 13 squared. So A squared equals 140, sorry, plus 144 equals 169. Subtract 144 from both sides. And that gives me that A squared is 25, which means A is 5 which by the way is another Pythagorean triple. I just didn't know if y'all knew all of them. So that means that sine of T is five over 13. And in quadrant two, sine is positive. So now I can go in and plug in these values. So, so remember, oh, it's already written there. I don't need to write it again. Okay, so I'm gonna plug in values now. So I know that cosine of S is negative 4 fifths. Cosine T was given to me, that's negative 12 thirteenths minus sine of S was given to me, that's 3 fifths. And sine of T is 5 thirteenths. And then I can just work that out. So. So I end up getting 33 60 fifths. And I don't think that simplifies because uh, three is only divisible by three and 11 and 65 is not divisible by either. So that's your final answer.